Hi everyone, uh, we'll be studying about uh, DTFS in this video. Now, DTFS stands for discrete time Fourier series, and this is a frequency domain representation of a time domain signal when my input is discrete and periodic. So, from this explanation, it is clear that my input has to be discrete this is x of n and which is a discrete signal and it has to be periodic so for non periodic discrete signal we have we have transform that is discrete time fourier transform but for a discrete time periodic signal we have fourier series representation that is given by dtfs so if you recall i had written a table periodic non periodic continuous time discrete time for periodic and continuous time it was ctfs here or i'll write it here ctfs for periodic and discrete time it is dtfs for non periodic and continuous time it is ctft or fourier transform for non periodic and discrete it is d DTFT. So we have already covered CTFT and DTFT. Now the category of signal which we are looking out for is uh, periodic and discrete time. So we will be representing periodic and discrete time signal in frequency domain by using discrete time Fourier series coefficients. So if it is a discrete signal and it if it is non periodic its transformation on frequency domain is uh, given by dtft and it was x of e power j omega since it is periodic it is given by x of k so x of k is the frequency domain representation of a discrete time periodic signal where uh, it is written here x of k is discrete time Fourier series coefficients of x of n. That means x of k is giving you the frequency domain representation of a signal x of n which is periodic and discrete time. Now we have as in transform we have in uh, series we have two major equations one is analysis equation other one is synthesis equation. So analysis equation is it will give you the Fourier series Fourier series coefficients. So x of k is given by 1 by n summation of n, I mean small n on entire n x of n e power minus j k omega naught n. Now <coughs> this k is an index for coefficients in uh, frequency domain. This capital N represents fundamental period since the signal which we are looking out for is periodic it will have its period so n is the fundamental period of my discrete time input signal so if n is a fundamental period this is fundamental frequency or angular frequency it is 2 pi by n and it is in radians per second so this is the analysis equation which we will be looking at that is to find the discrete time Fourier series coefficients x of k given by 1 by n summation n is it n summation on entire n x of n e power minus j k omega naught n and this is the equation to find x of n back from discrete time Fourier series coefficients so it is summation on n with index as k x of k and this sign there will be a sign change e power j k omega naught n Now while taking this summation, I can arbitrarily take the limits on n because it is periodic. Uh, the input signal x of n is periodic. So it will repeat after some time. So I can take the limits randomly. Randomly by random what I mean is if x of n is this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and uh, minus 1 minus 1 1 1 
here also I will get minus 1 minus 1 then 1 and 1 so this is a periodic signal with period 1 2 3 and 4 so I can take the limit from 0 to 3 because it will repeat after 3 so 1 0 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 and 5 so the same sample is found at 4 so 1 2 3 4 4 is a period fundamental period and the limit on n small n can be so the capital n value is 4 the limit on small n can be from 0 to 3 or minus 3 to sorry minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 4 to minus 1 or to the next one 4 to 4 to 7 that means what I am trying to tell you guys here is the summation can be taken arbitrarily for an entire period now the period is 4 so it can be taken from 0 to 3 or 4 to 7 or minus 4 to minus 1 any one full period I need to take the summation on the same case holds good when you take the summation here as well so this finishes uh, introduction to DTFS so in the coming videos I will be solving some problems on DTFT DTFS